Good evening and welcome to our virtual opening evening for students entering into our school in August 2022. I'm going to present to you on different aspects of Skull Regia and also we're going to have a video showing the day in the life of a student in Skull Regia. So what can you expect as a student in Skull Regia? So the first thing to note is the size of our school. Our admissions notice would show that we are in a position to offer only 60 places to first years in next year. We arrived at this figure as this is the number of students leaving in sixth year of next summer. 60 students per year group still allows us to offer a full range of programme choices and subject choices at junior and senior cycle, which I will detail later. We offer the full range of facilities in our classrooms, canteens, sports and extracurricular facilities to the level of a much more populated school. With a smaller student population, we can offer a high degree of inclusion in all our activities. We engage in activities that include as many people as possible. Finally, we continue to show excellence in our results, no matter which senior cycle course students take in order to reach their ambition. Let's look at the range of options in junior cycle and indeed senior cycle. In first year, this year's students took the following as their core options when they looked at their language options. They took maths, English, history, geography, religion and the well-being subjects which in our school are PE, choir, orchestra, IT, SPHE and CSPE. Then they looked at their language options. All students will choose either French or German. The vast majority of students will take Irish. Students who have a certificate of exemption in Irish are not sitting in the Irish class. Instead, we look to have them getting help in other subjects or plan around an additional learning should that be the case. Students will be able to sample both French and German when they arrive in late August. Finally, students picked three subjects from a choice of five options as follows. From art, Business, Home Economics, Music and Science. Students will be given some idea what each subject entails when we start our induction programme during the springtime. You will notice that science is not compulsory. As a former science teacher myself, I feel it's important to make science available to any student that wants to take it, while allowing those who really do not want to take science the chance to study a subject where they may well develop a real passion for like business, art, music and home economics. A senior cycle, students can choose to take transition year immediately after they have completed the junior cycle. Again, we try that all applicants for TY get their place. Then, having completed TY or going straight from junior cycle straight to fifth year, students, depending upon their needs, are offered two options at senior cycle. They can take the Leavenstead Applied course, which is a two-year course, or they can take the more established Leaving Certificate course, which includes the Leaving Cert Vocational Programme, also a two-year course. With the increased shortage in the workforce, some students are choosing to move into the workplace earlier and perhaps come back to their academic studies at a later point in their career. So in our school, they can opt for the Leavenstead Applied, where they prepare for work or a place in a post leaving cert course. And then of course, the established leaving cert for those who are looking to get enough CAO points to enter into college. Let's look at the leaving cert subject choices on offer in Skull Regia. From the sciences, we have biology, chemistry, physics, computer science and agricultural science, business and accounting. Then we offer home economics, geography, history, art, music, and we offer LCDP, which is the Leaving Cert Vocational Programme. We're now going to view a short video. Kate Dignan is a second year student and along with her friends, we recorded a typical day in Skull Regia, from when they arrive in the morning until home time each evening. See you in a few moments. Hi, my name is Kate Dignan. I'm a second year student in Skull Frigia and I'd like to show you what a typical day in my school looks like. When I get to school in the morning, I walk through the Mercy Gates where there are always some of my friends waiting for me. Some of them get the bus to school so they arrive before me. 
The school opens at 8.45 every day. I enjoy the time in the morning to chat with my friends. When I go into school, I unpack my bag, put my books into my locker and get ready for my first three classes. Today, my first class is maths. Maths is in my base room. We have our core classes and subjects like business studies in this room. Practical classes like science, home economics and music have their own special rooms, which we'll see later. I really like maths as it challenges me, but is also fun. This week, we are working on coordinate geometry, where we are plotting lines on graphs and investigating whether these lines are parallel or perpendicular. Hi, my name is Lorraine Bodkin. I am a past pupil and one of the maths teachers here in the Mercy. The part of my job I like the most is helping students reach their full potential, as well as getting to know the students both inside and out of the classroom. After my morning classes, I have an 11 o'clock break. For this, I go to the school canteen with my friends. Some days I order food from Frank and Eileen who work in the canteen. They are so friendly and the food is always so nice and tastes great. After break today I have science and today we are doing an experiment to test the colour of the flame when we burn different salts. Science is a subject that really interests me as one day I hope to go on and work in the medical field. If I ever need to talk I can call into our Vice Principal Miss Murphy whose office is near my locker or I can talk to Miss Costello who is our year head and business studies teacher. Sometimes, as I walk to my next class, I look into different classes. I don't have PE today, but this is always a fun class where we get to try different activities such as gymnastics, basketball or volleyball. Another class I love to look at is art. The room always looks so bright and colourful. I'm thinking about doing transition year as I will get to try art and enter the Junkature competition. This year, an outfit from our school has made it to the national final, which will be on RTE in December. Our lunch break is at 1.20pm. After I eat my lunch, I sometimes go for a walk around our school walks. Other times, I join in on some of the lunchtime activities like debating. Today, I have under-14 football on the AstroTurf with my coach, Miss Highland. I also play football with my local club, Tum Corthune. Hi. My name is Maeve Allen. I am in the same class as Kate and I am the class prefect. A class prefect is someone who represents the class on the student council. Miss Lynch is the teacher that helps the student council. She also teaches history and German. When the first bell goes at the end of lunch, I know it's time to get my books ready for the afternoon classes. Today I have double home economics. In our double classes, we often get to cook and today we are cooking chicken fajitas. Since starting here, we have learned to cook different foods such as berry crumble and coconut buns. Miss Diskin is one of the home economics teachers in our school. So now we are going into the last class of the day, which is music. In music, we do fun things such as learn to play the ukulele. Separate to my music class, I am also in the school orchestra where I play the violin. This is my music teacher, Miss Murphy. At the end of the day, I pack my bag with the books I need for homework. Each day after school there are different sports. Today is Kamogi. I really enjoy watching the different sports. My favourite sport is football, but I think I might give rugby or Kamogi a try someday. Well, that was a day in my school, The Mercy. I hope you enjoyed it. The school offers a very good book rental scheme to all our students in both junior cycle and senior cycle. Students in junior cycle pay 80 euros per year and this covers all textbooks each year, avoiding the need for parents to worry about book lists. All textbooks and related workbooks are covered under the scheme. Students, however, will need to buy pens, copybooks, the art pack if they're taking art as an option, dictionaries, calculators, the school journal, and past exam papers. As said, it costs 80 euro per year. How does it work? 
Students are given the books at the start of each school year and as we move into May, when the exams are completed, students leave their books in the classroom where they pick them up the following September, having paid for the New Year's rental. So let's look at the weekly timetable of students in the Mercy. Monday to Thursday, the day is divided into three parts. Early morning, three classes, which leads in to a short break from 11 to 11.20. Then they have three classes, which leads to lunch from 1.20 to 2 o'clock. And then after lunch, Monday to Thursday, three classes from 2 to 4. Friday is a little bit different. There are only six classes in the day, three in the morning, three mid-morning, and classes finish at 1.20. The buses are there outside the gate on the Dublin Road, collecting students as soon as class finishes, Monday through to Friday. The school continues to grow and develop its facilities. Our recent additions include our 3,000 square metre all-weather facility in partnership with Chum Komogi. We look forward now to building a new tartan sprint track in partnership with Chum Athletics. We continue to work with local businesses who have generously sponsored IT equipment, fibre optic internet and Wi-Fi in our school. We offer a full lunch facility for all our students in our large school hall, which is in line with COVID guidelines. We offer extensive study facilities five days a week after school. Students waiting for the late bus can wait in a supervised hall until 4.45 each evening and get their homework started. There is no charge for this service. Or, students can take supervised study from 4.15 p.m. until 6.45 each evening. We also put on extra study in the first week in January and during the Easter holidays, which exam students find particularly useful. The school is open each morning at 7.45 for students to wait safely until 8.45 when the whole school opens for class to begin at 9am. This of course is also in line with current guidelines. The school communicates with parents and with students primarily to the school compass app and communicates its classwork through Google Classroom. The compass school apps provides the following. Timetable of your daughter's subjects, school academic reports which come out after 10 weeks 20 weeks and the end of school year, plus for exam students at mock time, which is in line with the 20 week exams that non-exam students take. You will also receive notification of school events. You'll be allowed to make online payments for book rental, administration fee and the school journal. An online payment facility is also available to pay for the book rental, school administration fee and the school journal. Homework and other classwork is given on Google Classroom and all students will become familiar with Google Classroom and how to access it from early on in first year. We look forward to meeting our newly registered students in the spring of 2022 as they begin their induction programme and preparation for first year in August of 2022. But for now, thank you for joining us and goodbye.